Hey guys, it's Lightning Toadhead, and I'm back with another episode of Mario Kart Wii. And today we are heading into the road into the Retro Cups, and I'm going to be changing the speed level back to 50 CC. Gonna keep changing it as we go, and I'm going to be racing with Toadette again because I raced with my me last time. And we're going to race with a different uh, cart this time. Or we'll race with the Mini Beast! Because the Mini Beast is a pretty awesome car. So Shell Cup is the first one, and then that. So that's what we're going to do. Now I must say, the Retro Cups in uh, this game are pretty awesome. And I also like the ones in Mario Kart DS as well. Like, there's a couple of retro tracks in these cups that are from the DS, which is pretty cool. Ay! And this is a Peach Beach. This is one of my favorite retro tracks because I loved this in uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. One of my favorites. Yikes! I apparently can't drive very well, I keep turning. Hang on. I had to put the strap... Uh... From my Wii Remote... Around my hand so that I don't... Uh... Throw the Wii Remote off of my hand. Or it falls out of my hand. Oh my goodness! Crap! 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 crap no! <laughs> I don't want to get attacked by those things. I don't even know. I don't even remember what they're called, but I know that they're uh, in Super Mario Sunshine. Dun dun dun. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of dull. It's just that I'm recording this late on, uh, Sunday night. And I've been getting a lot more sleep lately, which is very good. So that I don't turn into an insomniac. But I wouldn't say this is too incredibly late. This is around, like, I'm recording this around, like, 10 o'clock. 1030 ish and these videos don't take me that these Mario Kart Wii videos don't take me that long to edit and uh put together and all that because they're like uh 10 to 15 minutes long like that's it it's it doesn't take up that much time now if I were to do like Mario Party then that could take a little bit of time because the boards are almost like an hour like an hour at the most. But with Mario Kart, that reduces the amount of editing time for me. Which is good, because... On summer vacation, you know, you want to, like, stay up and, like, have fun and be a rebel and all that other stuff. But, it's all... Sleep is also really important. So don't be afraid to go to sleep early. It's alright. You still have a lot of time. Ugh. And if you don't get to sleep, then you're gonna end up missing a lot of your summer because you're gonna be waking up very late. In like I had that pro, I've, I've been having that problem for like two years now, but this year I've been turning that around and not uh, been sleeping too long, like not sleeping in too long, like I get up at a very consistent time, actually I've been recently getting up at like 7 or 8 o'clock for like two weeks now, and I and I like that I'm sticking with something con consistent, since I kind of go to bed early, and 
It's almost like how my school schedule was, but it's just that I get a couple more hours of sleep, which is very nice. Uh. <sighs> oh, goodness. Some of you have told me that whenever I yawn, I end up making you yawn. And I'm sorry. I'm a... Oh, wait a second. The racetrack that I was just talking over was a... What is it? Is it Yoshi Valley? I don't know, but it's something from the DS. And here we are with a classic track from uh, the Super Nintendo Mario Kart. Uh, AKA Super Mario Kart. Ghost Valley number two. And very appropriately, King Boo is on this track. I feel like this track is a little more intense when you uh, race on, diff on the different speed levels. Well, that's just my opinion. Because I can pretty much keep this up without any problems. Oh shoot! And don't fall off. Yes, I beat the power block effect, which means I'm awesome. Dang, they're all over there, and I'm all the way over here. And there are boos everywhere. Now let's fall off the edge. Whee! <laughs> there we go. And here we are with another uh, really good retro racetrack. Mario Raceway from Mario Kart 64. Now, I do remember this track from Mario Kart 64 because... When I played at my friend's house when I was younger, this is this was a track that we played on quite a bit. And god dang it, I didn't release the button at the right time. Whoa! Ow! What was, was that really necessary? Hey! You may be bigger than me, but you shouldn't do that. I hate the fact that the bigger carts get to knock the smaller carts around. That's the disadvantage that racers like Toadette, uh, Toad, and the babies have. Is that they can be pushed around because of how smaller they are, which is incredibly dumb. But hey, at least my me is, uh... Oh wait, what am I saying? At least my me is, uh, a heavy cart, so he can knock knock them around. Holy crap. Yeah, so, uh, N64 Mario uh, Raceway, uh, played it at a friend's house quite a bit, because I have memories of playing this at my friend's house, because when I was younger, uh, my mom and dad had a very, uh, uh, a very busy work schedule and what and so they couldn't like none of them they they both had to go to work at like the same time so none of them could like stay home and watch me and so what would happen is they would uh, drop me and my uh, big brother off at my friend's house and uh, my brother wouldn't wouldn't even be able to uh, stay home for that long. He would just uh, 
to stay there for a little bit and sleep and then have to go to school. Whereas I can sleep as long as I want and I can just uh, stay there and play with my friend who has become one of my best friends to this day. Now he doesn't know I do YouTube because I haven't spoken to him in a while. Maybe I should start speaking to him again because he... I'm friends with his cousin on Xbox One, but I need to like actually start talking to him again. He's not much of an Xbox player anymore, he's more of a PC player. And he's not into like simulation games like Sims. Like I am, I think he's into something different, but I just don't know what it is because I haven't spoken to him in such a long time. But Jesus Christ, people! What is it with all these red shells and blue shells hitting me? Yeah, I feel like 50cc is harder than 150cc be because of these freaking red shells and blue shells that constantly come at you when you're in first. But anyways, I got another perfect, uh, a perfect score of 60, which proves I'm an awesome racer. Oh. Third place we have Dry Bazaar, second place we have Baby Peach who is using her stroller as a cart. Dun 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 Another big party Now that looks like a pretty awesome trophy right there. Well, anyway guys, this is Light and Tuner or Call Me LT signing off. I will see you for the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Bye!